good. So uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I find myself becoming more political over the past few years. Okay. I used to always say that I was not a political person. Mm -hmm. I have family and I have friends that identify as conservative. Okay. Um, I've heard the argument before that a vote for the conser or a vote for the Libertarian Party is a vote from the Republican Party, and the Republican Party is the lesser of the two big evils. Right. I don't have an answer for that. <sighs> what would you say to people of that belief? Yeah. How, how do you answer that? Well, thankfully, Donald Trump had an answer for that because he came in and spent more money and imposed more infringements than Obama or Clinton or Bush or any of them. So when someone says, you know, I, I want to vote for the lesser of, of two evils and they're a conservative, and you can do this with progressives as well, you can ask them, first of all, don't argue with people because that never helps. When they say we're, we're better than the left on the things the left cares about, we're better than the right on the things the right cares about, for that matter, we're better than the center on the things they care about, why are we arguing? We simply listen to what they have to say and we go, that's a great point. Here's why we're right about that. Here is why our ideas work. Here is why the people that you are supporting have created those problems. So in this example, you could say, what are your conservative values? And they're going to start talking about, you know, smaller government, uh, constitutional limitations on government, lower taxes, less regulations, less debt. And you can say, well, Donald Trump ran up more debt than any other president before him. Donald Trump has spent almost as much money in three and a half years as any other president before him. And it took Barack Obama two terms to, to, to run that up that, that much. Donald Trump uh, has imposed more infringements on your right to keep and bear arms than the last several presidents in the last like nearly 20 years, or actually over 20 years. Donald Trump has broken every major promise that he made. If you want to have, you know, if they're the kind of conservatives that want the troops to come home because we shouldn't be meddling in the affairs of others, Donald Trump has a net increase of 15,000 troops overseas from when he came into office. Whatever the issue is, Donald Trump has proven that he is taking the votes from the actual people who are going to fix those things, and that's the libertarians. And if it were a progressive, it would be the same thing. What don't, what, what don't you like? A, why are you a progressive? Well, because I think things should be fair, and I think the thing, things cost too much, and I think that powerful people have too much power, and I think that we should have criminal justice reform and end the war on drugs. That's great. So do libertarians. Democrats created all those terrible programs that you hate alongside their friends, the Republicans, while they told you that the Republicans were their worst enemies, and they have cocktail dinners and work together every single day. So if they're conservatives, you say, hey, listen, if you're a conservative, you want a smaller government, there's literally only one person who's even proposing. Not just, we're not even the only ones proposing a smaller government. The other ones aren't even proposing reducing the rate of growth of government. They're talking about how much bigger the government should be than the other one. It's all just pure, uh, you know, ins personal insults between the two of them that they try to use to differentiate each other. Because at the end of the day, their policies are essentially the same. Make government bigger and bigger and bigger and more infringing on our lives and more expensive and, and, and have let us have less power and less control of our lives and less money as a result of it and, and lighter wallets as a result. There's only one person running to actually do anything resembling what conservatives want, and that's Joe Jorgensen. I hope that answers your question.